Hello! Welcome back to Hand of Free 2. And apparently, we have something to correct. I just. Oh, okay, it's for the endless again. I think, again. That earlier, oh, earlier, last time. Yeah, but I don't think we'll go up the body and just yet. Let's go for the hero. Huh? Every game, even this game we play, is a shadow of the great game, the game of life and death. Oh. Once I was its master, but now another sits upon that throne. I will teach you everything I can in this game, that you might have the strength to master the great game in time. Discover a rich assassin seeks to kill Father Galfrey. Enumeration. Information comes at a cost. Collect gold to use for bribes. Then fortune be prepared for dice games. When the guild take heed, thieves are not known for their loyalty. Don't say yes, and I am taking any weapon against this. Ooh, gambler tool, sometimes. Uh, I'll try. Stores of food? Yeah, give me some food. Uh, I don't think there's any reason. Better times, it would have been my card here. The guardian of knowledge weapon. and the protector of the gates of life and death. Now Callus sits that throne, and miscreants assume the possession. With more clips and encouragement, what's a few murderers in the grand scheme of things? You find yourself sat opposite the opulently dressed leader of the Thieves' Guild, or one of the leaders. It's a shadowy organization. He takes a sip of wine and leans back to savor the taste. I am scheduled to be assassined. I'm glad you're so calm about that. I believe the suspect is one of my own. With subtle nods, he indicates a bearded man, a woman with red hair, and a man with grey eyes. Sorry. Borden, Rowena, and Grindon. My three personal silencers. One of them left me this note, I'm sure. When the red candle's flame burns out on this last evening in the Mulberry Inn, the false priest will have his sins appeased. He points out the red candle upon the fireplace. The assassin favors Beatrix over secrecy, it seems. Find the assassin for me. To do that, you will likely need gold. Thieves will tell you anything for gold. Okay, who are you? I am known as Father Galfrey, though it's not my true name, of course. I keep track of accounts in this region. Uh, anything else about this assassin? A note was left for me, yep. Yeah. Uh, more information about Borden? Borden is the eldest in my employ, a simple, nervous kind of man. I highly doubt that he would have the heart, nor the finesse to assassinate me, unless he has hidden his true nature all this time. I'd say you'd have to pour a few knees in the game if you want him to talk. About Rowena? Rowena has been one of my censors for as long as I have been in this position, and that is a very long time indeed. I asked that she infiltrate the Third Legion of the Imperial Army and eliminate the captain. She did so, of course, as efficient as anything. I suspect that she is only truly loyal to gold, but she is quite a valuable asset to the guild so it would be a shame if she intends to assassinate me. About Grindon? Grindon has been in my employ for some time. He's prone to making the most 
preposterous claims, many of which are untrue. I would be wary of his ex exaggerations, even if he isn't the assassin, and especially when he's had too much wine. Find the assassin for me. And with that, he waves you away, and you retire to bed, wondering how Mara Clips... How Mara Clips talked you into this? One should always keep an eye on of their course. belongings. Of course. Lest little hands find idle work. With a snap, you feel something being yanked off your person. You turn to see a few goblins on your way, giggling and pointing at you. With no time to check what was stolen you are after beefing the devils. Some highwaymen emerge from the bushes to protect the goblins. This guild. And I suspect that they took away my plates. This was the only thing I had with me. Fuck. Thief! There will ever be a place for small hands and quick wits. Defeat goblins quickly to avoid losing your items for gold. Thieves more frequently while goblins are alive to protect the spoils. Why do you keep getting us into this situation? It's not my fault. Okay, okay now we have time. Okay. Oh, that's not all of the goblins. Welcome. Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, I was sure I had it. Okay, now we need a shield and shield. No, no, no. Okay, I might be too used to these blades. You take back your brigand's blades from the unconscious goblin. As soon as you do, with a splutter, the goblin in question awakes and flips away from you, giggling it escapes into the forest. So goblins are colliding with thief skill now? With the fags defeated, you search their bodies for valuables. Yes! Oh. How appropriate. Oh, this is good against thieves and goblins. Nice. You know, there are competition of strength up there. Back to the bones. I hope you have learned to be their master. It is that easy. Once again, oh, we return no. to the inn, seeking clues to save a life. When we Let's look see. into memories, so many things are left unsaid and clouded. Why this life? Why this inn? Can I sell anything? Not really, I'm glad about that. Okay. You enter the Mulberry Inn and find Father Galfrey at his usual table by the fireplace. You sit down across from him. He scratches some numbers on one of many rolls of paper strewn across the table that glances up at you. Three days until the assassin comes for me, and three suspects how up. Three days to uncover the liar. I would like you to follow one of my silence or some job, trading trust for information. Pay for it, you must. Okay, I think we could drink with Warden. Why would someone want to kill you? We all covet gold. That is why we are here in this business, no? 
If somebody has paid a high price for my head, then there is little I can do. He considers his mind for a moment. I would imagine the assassin is more inclined towards lying. If you can root out the liar, you will uncover the assassin too. Let's go for Borden, I think. Borden is going to pick up some lamps from shipwreck work that have been, let's say, repossessed in the owners. You, know, you surely have a liking for strange bedfellows. Here you are helping thieves challenge thieves without a thought for their ultimate victims. Mm. You know the meeting point on the map and retire for the night. Okay. Good luck taking this token from me. All right, I don't have any gold for the flower. This will not be the last time you tread foot in places others fear, I suspect. If indeed you do so. The forests of Mortifernum are originally dangerous. For every tale of its hidden treasures, there are five stories of adventurers who never return. I'm going in. Shadowy beasts descend from the trees and tear at your flesh. And with my max life, fearing for your life, you flee the forest. Why? Oh. God damn it. Should have went, should have went straight for the guild card. Oh. Yeah, I see. No! Oh my goodness. The aiming is sometimes horrible. Oh my goodness. Okay, I think this counter is only for goblins. I hope it is only for goblins. Go for Malachites. No! You're welcome. Oh my goodness. I have no idea what's going on. Oh, oh no, 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 I blocked that. Okay, that was only for goblins in the Why are you not getting hurt by that? It is not too late to plan better. To use this, you <gasps> need fame. Oh, that's nice. That's nice as well. Let's go back. Um. Assassins. I have little love for them, less still for the criminal guilds that fill the cities these days. Bankers, thieves, assassins, merchants, kings. Each tries to use their power to control those around them. You travel to shipwreck port by wagon. You write in relative silence until Borden turns to you and asks quite seriously, What do you think of the boss? Uh, you know that you're bound to work under such a good man. I find Father Golf hard to read, yes. Oh, he trusts me, I'll do less. At the port, you are approached by a pirate bearing a load of stone lamps. Borden goes to give him a sack of gold, presumably payment. The unusually pale pirate shakes his head. No. Pulls out a rust bucket and his sword. I want blood. There's. Borden looks at you expectantly, as if you shouldn't protest. Okay. 
I don't know why the hell didn't my blood, but more than trust you, I owe more. You retrieved the crates of stolen lamps and piled them onto the wagon before setting off. When you arrive at the drop off point, Borden is seized with sudden emotion. I'm sorry I asked you to give blood and turn for person, and I No, you're not Oh for the pendulum is ever changing, yeah. and the challenges it presents change too. Oh, Wouldn't trust you considerably less. Borden wrings his hands as if he would feel very much like me. I should go. Um, what do you think of Father Galfrey? The boss always makes sure we get our cut. Can't ask for any better, really. In a guild of scoundrels like us. And your past? I don't know if I should be telling that sort of thing. Five gold. Okay. This is so horrible. That's better. Well Else. done. You continue to impress. Mm -hmm. I was fun before this. And your f family? Oh, Captain! Just answer my question! Gordon packs up a little. Yes, I have a beautiful wife. It's difficult to see her as I travel and drop so often. Ah, bye. You have proven yourself mm -hmm. worthy. You wonder how much Borg has told you today is a lie, he told me nothing. And I paid 10 gold for that. Okay. I hope the job of Borden was fruitful today. You are not dead with knife in your back, so I presume? Yes. I would be prudent to review what my senses have said when I have a quiet moment. Perhaps you will catch a light in the process. Tomorrow, who will you follow? Grindon. I've told Grindon to take out the castle by Moram Hammer Lake for any movement, out or in. The lady of the castle owes us a considerable debt. Game of chance or two, perhaps. Beside the busy Empire Road is by a ramshackle stall whereupon a few ramshackle people are seated on stools rolling dice. You approach the stall and behind the table is a little girl practicing on a poorly tuned violin. Beside her waits a squat lady clad in flowery apron. Welcome, have a seat. Do try the spice cakes. I picked them this morning. What do you fancy playing today, my dear? Let's play. How much are you bet? Is our race day? Uh, free. Remember, puppet, it's double or nothing. But hands your free roll, roll one dice. If your if your third roll is highest is the highest, you win enough to buy your sweetheart something in the market. Do I get a chance to re-roll? Apparently not. Okay. Okay, uh, okay, okay. It needs to be higher than 13. <sighs> I'm not looking. Fuck! <laughs> oh, that's good. Congratulations, you have won 6 gold with original bet of 3 gold. Let's try cards with the same. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Do I get back now? No. Let's try stealing. You pull up a stool between two gamblers, smiling as you sit down, pretending to be interested in your card game, get them to pick their pockets. Yeah, good luck with that. Yep. I'm Poorly done, 
I know. You must harness your will and find the quiet stillness inside you. Just as you manage to grab uh, a hold of a heavy purse, a wrinkled hand reaches out and grabs your arm. You look up to see Bertha looking very disappointed. She asks you to leave and suddenly plays a curse on you as you go. Look at him. Oh, look at the doors. Okay, it's pretty balding. Let's. Can we need to save everyone? Let him try first. I am not a vain man. You are. You must appreciate that the game, uh, this game, has been my focus for more years than I can count. I have a certain pride regarding its twists and turns. Please, thank you. Come here. It is the most Excellent. entire fun safe decision. Oh. Right, I think oh. Well our position has been destroyed and we will never be able to repay you. Yeah, I need to save myself and I forgot about that. Okay, I can sell pious ropes. Nice. Uh, so I can. Yep, I will sell those. Beat 60! That is numbers. Oh, nice. And this one that we post 25 thieves by the community of defending that I did? A couple of times? I don't know why it didn't count. Strange. For shout, Brinton signals your arrival at the castle by Moorhammer Lake. You find some long grass and still down for the day. Despite being a stakeout, Brindon happily talks quite loudly. You know, my sources tell me that the lady inside is wanted for high treason. Someone pulls out a bit of charcoal and paper. Would you like my autograph? Yeah. You allow him to scribble his name on the roll of paper. He tucks it lovingly into your hand. He don't trust you a little more. Time passes, but nobody leaves or enters the modest castle. I say, who are you anyway? Green then retrieves a boiled sweet from a paper bag and pops it in, in his mouth. I've not seen you around before. Oh, I the new recruit. Oh, really? I heard we didn't need any more recruits, that we are striving to be the mouths we already have. Green screams as you suspiciously struggling to say. Tell me, what would you do to get to recruit? <laughs> oh my god, no. Uh, I stole the shoes of Father Godfrey while he was sleeping. Ha! <laughs> when those snatches they are in front of his fam family. Everybody knows Father Godfrey doesn't wear shoes, he has wooden legs. Little else happens during this takeout. You spend most of the time watching and sleep. Before you head to your separate place, you take the chance to question him. Uh, Okay. What do you think about Father Calfrey? Sorry, but I only show that sort of thing to my dedicated fans. Okay, I'll pay you. Father Calfrey? Ah, the drink of old fool. I'm surprised he hasn't already been replaced by a younger, more dashing guild member. He's gone soft in his old age. The other day, he let one of the rabble go free after they mucked up a job. No thumbs down, chopped off, nothing. I'll pay to you first. I'll pay you. Well, I used to be a farm famed actor, but that was a while ago. And your family? his family when I have so many devoted followers, or oh, really, and he's very virtual. Ah, great question, would it be a sugar spawn swamp? No doubt.
who once for the golf is merely sitting and staring silently at his papers. The quill is stationary in his hand. Tomorrow evening I may die. For the briefest moment fatigue crosses his face, for a golf appears all at once very old. I hope you will know who the assassin is before then. Can I get some old? I cannot! I would have to lie on the guild's records, for a golf is draws quiver in shock at the suggestion. Okay, why do you trust me? Father Galfi looks at you sadly. Even if you were to steal the ring from my hand, we could never truly be a part of this guild. No, we don't have the heart for it. Okay, we'll go for Rowena. Rowena has been tasked with kidnapping the child of Lady Fielding as a journey to the capital. For An that. opportunity to Ooh. better understand these lands, perhaps. Perhaps. On the edge of the Empire, far from the capital, sits a lonely watchtower. You approach with caution, knowing that few travelers are allowed near. Halt! calls a soldier as we approach the tower. None may cross the border from the northern lands of the Empire. Let's try sneaking. We return hours later as night approaches. As you scramble through the undergrowth, we hope those scouts don't spot you. Okay, literally everything here is Thais Gambit. Well, there was one bedroom. Oh god damn it! You can always try again if you survive. Of you course. were struck by a volley of arrows. Ow. Ow. Maybe it's having actually little here this night. I am torn between my loathing for gnomes and my despair that the world is becoming less strange and arcane as the Empire spreads. That sounds a lot like something from Overlord 2. <laughs> then you're ugly. Pure Citadel, I read all that. Before. This is not a first encounter with no with gnomes. No! Oh no 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 I messed up. Oh really? No! Oh really? Okay, I may die from gnomes? Leave me alone. I, oh, I was pressing the wrong trigger. This whole time. No, you're getting nothing. At what age does a child lose their innocence? When do they become the enemy? I will save the boy again. Because if I remember, he, he has a dice gambit at the end as well. So, there's that. You. We'll finally get to see what is about this place. A sharp knife quickly applied undercover of light has long been the tool of bats and criminals. Oh, don't. Oh, I hate these guys. Okay, we managed to separate one, separate one of them. Where's Mouth? There you 
are. You're welcome. Nope. Well, well, well. Oh. Wait, there's another one? I thought it was two of Dead again. What the heck? Is it going to be there? Can go? No. Mal, I need a shield. Okay. Can I be a gun? Well, since you're already here. A long run. Yay! Oh, thoughts of first thing. Whenever you draw two consecutive game cards at the same time, game plus for life. I'm gonna try helping the boy. Games within games within games. If it also with a little dried plant hung on his neck, I will. Okay, I'll tell you. There was an emperor ambush on our village, and I ran with mother. We got separated. He wiped some tears from his face angrily. But I'm not afraid. I'm of clan cat's food, and we are great pathfinders. I will find my way home. The boy tells you what he knows of the area. Thank you. Oh, there's burning building again. That's my time. Chance. Yep, yep, I will perfect the fire myself. First of all, let's go for this. This one. The separate one. Okay. Return to the building. Ah. It's gonna be any harder. No, I'm fine. Well, thank you. Down to the building, one last time. How fast it- oh my god, okay. Slumped in the corner of the room, find the woman's husband. Okay. As you march, the woman and her children rush to the man's side and embrace him. Thank you, adventurer! You have saved my family from certain death! Thank well you! Done. I know it's not Boy, Good. no. Oh, I Take this chance to review the clues really? you have learned so far. Can I? No, I don't think there's anything for me. I still only find clues. Okay, but then because I wanted to check the map, what's the a death at the moment? Okay, so this is the last one, but we still need to meet with Florina. The longest night. And a symbol of the deepest matters. You would do well to attend to the things that happen here. In the longest night of winter, the townsfolk of Stigol set up around a huge bonfire to celebrate the vict victory of light over darkness. The one night the Empire turns a blind eye to the outlawed use of magic. You join a group of peasants close to the fire. Taking a sip, the woman beside you offers you a goblet. You politely accept the Pungent potion and take a quick swing. Sweet. Warmth rushes through your body and you fall into a deep hypnotic trance as you stir into band dancing flames. The townsfolk chant, calling on the mountain spirits. In a flurry of snow, spurs the sand and join the festivity. A curious white owl perches next to you and I sense magical air about you. If you feel particularly inclined, we will share the blessings in exchange for longevity. He nods against your arm as he awaits your response. Of course, thank you! The creature lets out an ear piercing squawk. Yeah, thank you. 
a tingling sensation flows through your body. What? You gaze into the flames as the festivities continue around you. You woke to find you wake to find yourself in a stable, nestled among the herd of ca of ca cows. <laughs> On your way out, you spot a few unconscious empire guards huddled together outside outside the stable. You and Rowena need not travel far before finding a gilded carriage tr trundling along an imperial road. The carriage is protected by a contingent of guards. Oh, to defeat all of them before timer? Okay, is it better to throw my... Ah, let's try that. If she's helping me, then there might be a chance. She helps me, Malakrabs helps me. Oh, but she does nothing. Okay, let's try. Let's start with those who can defend themselves. Oh, Rowena is dying already. Oh, how I hate the phalanx. Oh. Okay, we still have a minute. Kick him again. No! Why am I stunned before? And I think one guy is dead. Oh well. Marina is impressed by your efficient fighting skills. She trusts you a little more. You open the carriage door to see a woman dressed in silks and bands, fluttering her son. Please, she cries desperately. Take this gold. It's just a child. Without a second thought, Marina pockets the heavy pouch of coins from the weeping mother and closes the door on them. The thief stares at you coldly. Swear yourself to secrecy. Marina trusts you a little more. If there's nothing else, I have business elsewhere. Okay, what do you think of Father Yalfrey? He sits in his finery, counting coins. I, sp I expect he will do so until the day he dies. She considers for you for a bit. I wouldn't trust him so much. He is in a guild of thieves just like us, after all. And how? what about your past? I was in the 7th Legion of the Emperor before my time here. I spoke against my captain and so he tricked me to let me kill. I ran. I do not like to spill unnecessary blood. And your favorite food? Roasted apple. Are uh, you family? I have family in the capital. I do not talk to them. If there's nothing else, I have business elsewhere. Hey, and we lack two. Please. A rotten priest and a rotten thief. Expend the effort to save him and watch thousands wail as they lose their hard-earned wealth. You find Father Galfrey at his usual place next to the fire. As you sit yourself opposite him, you notice he looks distinctly, distinctly calm. Despite the foretelling of his death tonight, he will toward them, Marina and Quindon roaming about the tavern. Find and eliminate the assassin before they eliminate, eliminate me. However, I cannot be responsible for what may happen if you accuse one of my silences wrongly. The red candle upon the fireplace burns stone. Okay, let's talk about the details. I would advise you not to waste your time, sir. I have a very personal stake in prompt success. Okay, no, no. Uh, approach Gordon. Gordon looks surprised that you're talking to him. Drink with him! Yay! Gordon looks happily that you offered. I'll have Mulberry wine then, if you're offering. Oh, god damn it, I hoped it would be. Nice. <laughs> oh, 
I am a terrible drinker. I fear that you're trying to get me drunk to gain insight into something. I'll be honest with you, I know very very little about what goes on around here. Yeah. What am I doing? Okay, I can try again. Okay, that's nice. Breathe, you have done well. Thank you. Drunken Borden pulls you close and whispers fearful. Don't let her hear this, but the redhead is breathless. She infiltrated the Third Legion as an Emperor Soldier for six months and killed her commander in cold blood. Okay, let's see. Let's approach Brendan. Yes, I heard about the assassination threat from my own channels, Brendan adjusts his head. I'm very well respected in this girl, you know? Uh, he'll say anything for gold, and she will say anything for gold. Okay, but he'll lie. My gambit skills are horrible. When needed, trying to infiltrate my inscrutable mind. Are you? Okay, but at least he didn't take. Let's drink with him. At least we'll know that he's alive. Whatever he tells while drinking is alive. I mean, more than he's old, real old. He's been here before I was born, I'm sure. He's probably trying to off the bus because he needs a change of pace. I would. Okay. And let's then let's try drinking for me now. I don't drink. It dulls the senses. Hey, can I bribe you? Don't know what I'm gonna try this. Whoa, thank you! Victory, you are learning. <laughs> they don't wear head and wrist other. Okay. Ask about the wrist daggers. It's not uncommon to, for silencers to wear wrist daggers. Only Borden doesn't have one, I believe. He says that it's not honorable. Can you imagine that? All the armor against thieves? And you can't. Okay, so he doesn't have the wrist daggers. He, 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 did he say anything? Um, he used to be a famous actor. He said that yes, he thinks this is border, but we know he. Oh, that's all we have from. Borden mm -hmm. was okay. Arena has worked with him for a long time. No one was in the third legion of the Empire. Okay, you have said that women are always a little truth for money. Greendom has worked for him for a long time. Greendom makes wild accusations while drunk. Yeah. Assassins will always lie about his the personality. <laughs> that doesn't help. Can I say... Oh. Yes. Okay, about, about wrist daggers? Yeah, it's not uncommon. Uh, uh, uh. Can I stand by? They never kill me another day. No, this must, this must end tonight. Why? Okay. Actually, you know what? Let's approach the one that hasn't drink anything today. Th those two guys are drunk. Do you? Can you imagine drunk assassin? I don't. Orina draws a pair of cruel daggers from the boat, grinning menacingly. You think you can face me? We have uncovered the assassin! Orina rallies with rise some guild minions. Silence Rowena, her, her loyalty to gold is staunch and unwavering. Oh, she is tough. 
her. Oh, that one. Oh, really? I was... Whoa. In the middle of channeling. Nice weapon skill. Kill her. Oh, really? Okay. And we are not done. We actually need to kill everyone here. Nope. Oh, I didn't notice you. Where is he? Nope. That was a bit tense. Just a little bit. As the violence subsides, you realize that Father Galfrey is standing next to you, eyeing Molina's body glibly. Such a shame. I thank you for your service. Services. He places a heavy bag of gold in your hand, then returns to his seat by the fireplace. There is still a chance of completion, yeah, but no yeah. chance of perfection now. <laughs> more cards, more choices, more tokens to unlock. Oh, I think the silver tokens offer the most rewards. Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Here the hermit oh, hides, and with him the secrets that underpin your history. We will explore them together. Oh, we will, but we will explore tomorrow. Okay. Now, thank you very much. Stay alive, and see you soon.